Hello, Team Notice Canada. That's what I call my members and subscribers. Hello, coin collectors, young and old, and anybody else that may be watching. Welcome to Newest Canada with Bruce. Today, we will be talking about the 1996 inauguration of the $2 coin. We will be right back after this with more information, sure to make you take greater notice of your 1996 tunes. Welcome back. As I mentioned in the opening, we would be featuring the 1996 Toonie, so here we go. And of course, what we're talking about is the four, first $2 coin in the series, and for that which was in 1996. And I have one here that is rather unremarkable. It's just the average everyday uh, 1996 Toonie, but We'll get into some of the varieties that exist in this particular coin. The 1996 two dollar bimetallic Canadian coin, commonly known as a Tumi, is a distinctive piece in Canadian coinage, notable for its two metal composition and unique design. This coin was introduced to replace the two dollar bill that has become a staple in Canadian currency. Here is a detailed look at the 1996 Tuni and its varieties. The coin consists of two metals, an aluminum bronze inner core and a nickel outer ring. The coin's weight is 7.3 grams and the diameter is 28 millimeters. The obverse features a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II designed by Dora de Pedri Hunt, and the reverse depicts an adult polar bear standing on an ice floe, designed by Brent Townsend. There are several errors and varieties with this coin, and we will try to show all of them to you. If you find what we missed or overlooked, if you find that we have overlooked or missed anything, please leave it in the comments below. There are several varieties of the 1996 Tuni that are of particular interest due to differences in how the coin was minted. The mint was in a hurry to get 60 million coins ready for the launch date. As a result, the mint ordered 10 million planchets to the same specifications from a German supplier. Uh, with these 10 million planchets, the mint was able to produce the 60 million $2 coins for the launch date of February 19, 1996. Identifying the difference between the Canadian planchet and the German planchet is very difficult and best achieved by a specialist who is well versed on how to distinguish the more valuable German planchets. The Canadian planchet has a shiny finish, shiny pop. The Canadian planchet has a shiny polished finish, whereas the German planchet has a duller matte like finish with lines similar to the bullion finish across the ring. Regular 1996 tunies like the one I have in the book here are typically valued slightly above face value, especially in uncirculated or mint condition. Dash, flash dies, over polished dies, and die chip errors can command significantly higher prices, often ranging from several tens to hundreds of dollars depending on the grade the severity and the rarity of the air. The introduction of the Tuni was part of a broader effort by the Royal Canadian Mint to modernize the country's currency system. The coin's unique bimetallic design and the decision to feature a polar bear on the verse were intended to reflect the Canada's northern heritage and wildlife. 
in summer, the 1990, in summary, the 1996 $2 bimetallic Canadian coin is a notable and collectible piece with six interesting varieties. These varieties, these varieties particularly like the clash dies, the overpolished dies, the die chip errors, add layer of excitement and value for numismatics and collectors. The 1996 $2 coin is a, an intriguing aspect of the Canadian tomb that captivates many collectors. A die clash occurs when the obverse front and the reverse back dies strike each other without a planchet or a blank coin in between, leading to an imprint of each die's design on the other. There are visible clash marks on the die clash tuning. You can see faint outlines or traces of the polar bear from the reverse side on the obverse, which features the Queen Elizabeth II's portrait, and vice versa where the polar bear resides. These marks are typically subtle but identifiable upon close inspection. On the observer side with the queen, <coughs> clash marks might appear around the edges of the portrait, especially around the queen's profile and the inscriptions. On the reverse or polar bear sides, marks may be seen around the ice flow and bear, often appearing as ghost-like images or lines that should not be part of the original design. This error occurs due to a mechanical malfunction where the die comes together without a blank coin to absorb the strike, transferring part of each die's design onto the other. During the minting process, if a planchet fails to be fed between the dies, they strike each other with full force, causing these die clashes. Die clashes are relatively rare and considered mint errors, making them highly collectible. The 1996 die clash tuning is no exception. The value of the die clash tuning can vary depending on the grade of the coin, as well as the clarity and prominence of the clash marks. Coins with more distinct and noticeable clash marks tend to be more valuable. As with most coins, the condition or grade of the coin plays a significant role in determining value. Uncirculated die clash tunies with clear marks are particularly desirable. To identify die clash tunies, use a magnifying glass or a loop to closely inspect both sides of the coin for any unusual lines or shapes that don't belong on the regular design. Compare the coin in question to a standard 1996 tuning to identify discrepancies. For those unsure about their find, consulting with a numismatist or sending the coin to a professional grading service can provide authentication and possible certification. The, 19, the 1996 $2 coin die clash is a fascinating error for collectors and adding another layer of interest to the already distinctive bimetallic tuning. These coins are valued for their rarity and the unique story they tell about the minting process. The cigar die chip error can be found on the reverse side of the 1996 coin. Here's the accurate information regarding the specific die chip error better known as a cigar die chip error. This error occurs on the reverse side of the coin, which features the design of a polar bear on a nice flow. The cigar die chip error appears as a raised, elongated blob of metal protruding from the polar bear's mouth, resembling a cigar. This distinct, distinctive appearance is what gives the error its name. As the dyes used in the minting process wear out, they can develop small fractures or chips 
in this case, a piece of dye near the mouth of, or the area of the polar bear broke off, leading to the characteristic raised metal that looks like a cigar. Imperfect, imperfections or weaknesses in the dye material or flaws during the dye preparation can result in dye chips forming during the minting process. The cigar dye chip is a particularly popular among collectors due to its humorous and unusual appearance. It makes the coin stand out from standard issues. While the dye chip errors are more common than some other type of mint errors, the specific cigar error on the 1996 Toonie can attract a premium. The value depends on the prominence of the error and the overall condition of the coin. Condition Higher grade coins with higher grade coins with a clear, well-defined cigar die chip error are more desirable and valuable to collectors. To identify the cigar die chip, use a visual inspection by examining the reverse side of the coin. Focus on the polar bear's mouth. Look for a raised, elongated blob of metal extending from the mouth which should resemble a cigar. Remember that the metal must be raised because if it is incused or carved into the coin, that is mint, that is coin damage and not a mint error. Use a magnifying glass or loop can help you see the details of the die chip more carefully, clearly. Compare with other 1996 tunies to ensure that the anomaly is a die chip error and not post mint damage. The 1996 $2 coin with the die, cigar die chip error on the reverse is a fascinating collectible, collectible mint error. This error adds a unique and amusing aspect to the coin, making it a prized piece for collectors. If you find a tuning with this specific error, it's a noteworthy addition to any coin collection due to its distinctive and entertaining appearance. The next error is the horn die chip error. On the reverse of the coin of the 96 coin is another notable variety of die chip error that collectors find intriguing. Here's an overview of this specific error. The horn die chip error is located on the reverse side of the coin, where the de design features a polar bear standing on an ice wheel. The horn appears as a raised elongated blob of metal protruding from the polar bear's nose area, resembling a horn. This distinctive feature is what gives this error its name. Over time, the dyes used in the minting process can develop wear and tear leading to small fractures or chips. In the case of the horn, a piece of the dye near the polar bear's nose broke off, resulting in the raised metal anomaly resembling a horn. Imperfections in the dye material or errors during the dye preparation can also contribute to the formation of die chips during the coin production. The horn error is sought by collectors due to its unusual appearance and its ability to make the coin stand out from regular issues. While die chip errors are relatively common compared to the other mint errors, the specific horn error on the 1996 Tuni can command a premium depending on the prominence and clarity of the error as well as the overall condition of the coin. Coins with a clear, well-defined horn in higher grades are more desirable and valuable to collectors. To identify the horn die chip error, examine the reverse side of the coin. Focus on the area around the polar bear's nose. Look for a raised elongated blob of metal protruding from this area, resembling a horn. Use a magnifying glass or loop can help you examine the details of the die chip more closely. Compare the coin with other 1996 tunies to confirm that the anomaly is indeed a die chip error and not the result of post mint damage. The horn on the polar bear found in the 1996 coin is an interesting 
and collectible, collectible mint error that adds character and uniqueness to the coin. Collectors appreciate such errors for their distinctive appearance and the stories they tell about the minting process. If you come across a toonie with a specific area, it's likely to be a valuable addition to any coin collection. The next error we'd like to talk about is the no ice error and the no ice die polishing error on the reverse side of the 1996 toonie is a fascinating variety that has captured the interest of collectors. Here's an overview of this specific error. This error is located on the reverse side of the coin which features the design of a polar bear standing on an ice floor. In coins affected by the no ice error, the ice flow under the polar bear appears smooth or completely missing, instead of the typical detailed depiction of ice. There might be a blank or featureless area between the bear's feet. Die polishing is a part of the minting process where the surface of a die is smooth or clean to remove imperfections or debris. In the case of the no ice error, excessive polishing or an error in the polishing process resulted in the removal or significant reduction of the ice flow detail. This error likely occurred during die preparation or maintenance where the die was inadvertently polished in such a way that the flow detail was erased or diminished. The no ice die polishing error is highly sought after by collectors due to its unusual appearance and its ability to make the coin stand out from regular issues. Coins exhibiting the no ice error can command a premium depending on the severity of it and clarity of the error, as well as the overall condition of the coin. More pronounced examples of the error tend to be more valuable. Con the coins with a clear, well-defined no ice error in higher grades are particularly desirable and valuable to collectors. To identify the no ice die polishing error, you examine the reverse side of the coin, focusing on the area beneath the polar bear's feet. Look for a smooth or blank area where the ice flow detail should be present. Compare the coin with the other 1996 toonies to confirm that the anomaly is indeed the result of die polishing and not the absence of the ice flow detail or in the original design. No ice die polishing error on the reverse side of the 1996 $2 Canadian coin is a notable collectible mint error and stands, adds uniqueness and intrigue to the coin. Collectors value such errors for their distinctiveness and stories they tell about the minting process. If you encounter a toonie with this specific error, it is likely to be a prized addition to any coin collection. So today you have learned about the six key varieties that collectors look for in 1996 toonies. Have you already found one? If so, please let us know in the comments below. We hope you have enjoyed this presentation and thank you for watching. We hope to see you again. Bye for now.